Now this is a facility you'd expect to be using a lot of water, but looks can be deceiving. Today, 17 aquatic centres across the state are part of the WaterWise Aquatic Centre program. Now all the centres are endorsed as WaterWise, and it's an endorsement they take very seriously. To learn more, I've caught up with Riverton Leisureplex Centre Manager, Mick Wilkinson. Nick, tell me what uh, initiatives you've put in place to save water. Chrissy, we've done some great things here at Riverton. We've, uh, in all our showers, we've reduced the flow rates so that it's gone from uh, 12 litres per minute down to only 7 litres per minute. And you also have to push the button in the showers so that the uh, water isn't constantly flowing. And we put blankets on the pools every night. The other thing that we do is we have to do a backwash in our pools. Rather than doing it every couple of weeks, they're looking to do that now on a pressure. And what about local governments? The WaterWise Councils program helps local councils across the state to make fresh water thinking part of their mantra, with 29 local governments endorsed as WaterWise. Conserving water is really important for our community. And as a council, we lead by example and we educate and embrace our community and give them the tools that they need to reduce water consumption at home. We've introduced hydro zoning in our parks and reserves where we change the level of watering depending on the use, so the higher level of use for sporting pursuits, the more passive areas we've actually reduced uh, the level of watering for those areas. And we've also introduced eco zoning where we've actually removed grassed areas and uh, introduced mulched and planted areas uh, with native species. There are all types of businesses getting involved right the way across the state. And if you want to make sure your business is saving water and money, visiting Water Corporation's website will point you in the right direction. Remember, we are all responsible for being water wise in a drying climate and ensuring the security of our future water supplies.